In 1970, the World Cup in football exploded onto our television screens and for the first time, we could see it in living colour. The game of association football appeared transformed as we watched men who seemed like gods perform wonders in the blazing sunshine of Mexico. And among the riot of colour, the World Cup produced one team that outshone all the rest. Their shirts were gold, their touch was magic, and their lineup was a list of stars. Rivellino. Oh, what a goal! Carlos Alberto. Pelé. Up comes Carlos Alberto on the right. And it's four! Tostao. Tostao. And it's a goal! Tostao has come the second after 15 minutes. Jetson. Yes. Great goal! That's beauty! Tremendous goal by Jetson. And the legendary Pelé. And it's Pelé, he's got it! Pelé has scored! And that is Brazil's 100th goal in the World Cup. But one star who was destined to make history was also among them. He wore the number seven shirt of Brazil and would go on to score a goal in every round of the World Cup, a new individual record. His name, Gernzinho. In the first round match against Czechoslovakia, Gerzinho began his historic climb to fame with a goal of breathtaking skill. Using his chest, feet and his unmatched footballing brain, he announced to the wide audience of television viewers that he had truly arrived. And then he scored a second with an even greater ease to help ensure that unlike 1966, Brazil would not fall early in the World Cup. Brazil's next group game was against the defending champions, England. Right. Lee. And England really are controlling this. Bobby Moore's men were early favourites to win the competition outright, and the outstanding defending of Moore himself and Gordon Branks at first foiled the Brazilians. Good tackle by Moore. Carlos Alberto. That's dangerous. Jardino. Oh, and he left Cooper standing. Pelé! What a save! Scott back! But Jorginho was not to be denied. On the hour, an astute Pelé pass, and Jorginho did the rest. Pelé! Jorginho! In the third match of the competition, Brazil tackled Romania. And here we see how Jairzinho was able to finish what he had started himself. And Jairzinho, Paulo Seita. Yes, Jairzinho, 2 nil. It was always trouble. And two, it's two minutes for Brazil. Next, Brazil played Peru. Their star player, like Jorginho, had scored in every round up until then, but only one reputation would survive the clash of titans. As his teammates peppered the Peruvian goal, Jorginho it was who applied the coup de grace with 24 minutes to go. Jorginho, he's going to get it. Oh, he must score. And he's scored in every match now. Jorginho's got his goal. Their semi-final opponents, Uruguay, was a formidable team. But once again, we can see how Jairzinho was capable of outwitting his opponents, bringing the ball from inside his own half right up to the opposing goal mouth, where his finishing was impeccable. He's scored! And he's scored in every round so far! In the final against the mighty Italians, Jairzinho scored yet again to become the first player in football history to score in every single round of the World Cup Finals. And Giazzino has set a new record, the first player ever to score in every World Cup match. And there he is, the happiest man, surely, in the world at this moment. And when indeed Alberto, the Brazilian captain, received the Jules Rimet trophy, he knew it was theirs to keep, because Brazil was the first country to win the greatest football trophy of the ball three times. 120 million football-crazy Brazilians and millions more true football fans around the world celebrated the triumph of Brazil and Jairzinho 
who scored in six games for a total of seven goals. History was made.